Hello everybody, welcome back from an extremely fresh face, Gabrielle. That is me. Today I've got a treat for you all. I found in the back of my cupboard some thigh high boots. I'm gonna review those today. Never worn them in a video on the website, never worn them on YouTube. So today we're gonna review the thigh high boots. Give us a thumbs up right now if you love that idea and also hit subscribe if you've not done so already. I'll be back with my makeup on looking a little bit more presentable. I am back looking slightly more presentable. <laughs> it's very hot in the UK today. If you live in the UK and you're watching this video straight away, how nice is it today? It's like 26 degrees where I am right now. If you're watching this in the future, it was a sunny day in the UK, which is extremely rare. One thing sprung to mind when I opened the wardrobe yesterday. I saw these at the back. I have never worn these on a video. I have never worn these on YouTube. I think I tried them on once maybe. I kind of remember them being very uncomfortable, very tight fitted, even though they are a UK size five. During today's video, I am going to try these on, review them, walk around in them, and see how they fit and feel. Okay, so these are quite unusual because the bottom of them, as you can see here, this is all a platform. All of that in there is a platform and your toes sit on top here. These are extremely high. Let me get my tape measure and measure how big this heel is. This is a conventional high heel, one of my favorites. This is the normal size. This <laughs> giant has got six inch heel. I put them together. You can see this. They're gonna be high. I'm gonna be far off the ground. However, the platform comes to here. So technically, my foot's only really up like three inches, four inches. What do you think of these? And then from here is the pleather material. They're not real leather. And they fit, I think, just over the top of the knee. However, I'm gonna try them on and find out. Before I pop these onto my legs, I'm just gonna have a little look on the inside. Inside, the material is very soft, nice and soft. And the zip, is it in good function order? Yes, it is. Ooh, you wanna zip me up? I think I've got a hunch these are gonna be extremely uncomfortable. If you were gonna wear these with an outfit, what outfit would you wear them with? I've worn a tartan skirt today and this little tweed jacket because I really didn't know what to wear with them. I thought that this might look cute and less like trailer park-ish. How if you've got any other ideas, leave me a suggestion down below. Let's get started with the party and I think we should put these onto my legs. Give us a thumbs up if you agree. If you don't already, join me on Instagram at Gabrielle Taylor one at High Heel Studio, and also I have a mailing list that is jam-packed with so much fun. So subscribe to my mailing list. The link is down below in the description. Just sat on them and that hurt. Ow. Oh golly gosh, these kind of scare me to actually put them on. But we're gonna do it. These are an extremely tight fit considering they're a five but my foot is in, that's the good news. Okay, this is the stage that we're currently up to. One of them is on. Now, these are a size five. I have standard size legs. I'm not sure that this is actually gonna go up. It's a very tight squeeze. The thumbs up right now if you're loving the look of this shoe. Now we're at the same position with this shoe. I'm just gonna try and zip them up so the zipper on the inside of the leg. And yes, they zip up. I remember that the first time I got these and tried them on out the box, one of the reasons why I don't wear them is because I'm pretty sure that the zipper wouldn't go up on my calf. I'm pretty sure they were too tight on me. So maybe my legs have got skinnier over the past six months. Honest opinion on these pleather over the knee shoes. Height of the boots, I would say, good height, I feel quite sturdy. I do feel extremely tall. 
they're quite comfortable to walk in, feel steady. The only thing I don't like about these is the amount of ripples on my legs. Do you know what I mean? The amount of ripples in the leather. I think maybe for, um, I might wear for Halloween. I don't know. Let me know what you think of these down below. I'm not, I just don't know. Should I? They're very, ex they're extremely, should I say, tight fitting on my leg. Ooh. Okay, the other negative about these shoes, I don't know if maybe when they're worn in a little bit, the foot area might stretch out. They're a size five, I'm a size five, and there's, my feet are so scrunched up, so scrunched up. Look how high they are. Is that just ridiculous? Is it too high for a pair of shoes? Yeah, I'm feeling like I need to get these off because my legs can't breathe. The zippers that tight and my feet are really scrunched up. Let me know if you own a pair of these at home. When do you wear them? What do you wear them for? Obviously keeping it clean, please. How do you think these look on me? I'm gonna have to mark these a six out of 10. I would change the material and make it um, kind of a low material. I don't also like the point there. There's, there is a stitched line that runs all the way up front along the front of the toe, down the front of the heel. I don't like that. I just checked the inside of these shoes and these are from Publicite, which is a brand on Amazon. I used to have loads of shoes when I was younger from Publicite. I think it's actually based in Manchester, this shoe brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Online, you wanna buy them. I hope today's review or talk through them has helped you make a decision. If you've got big calves, I would say don't do it. These are made for people with small, thin legs. I've not got particularly big calves and they barely fit me. So if you've got big calves, don't buy these. Too high for my liking. But make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you tell me about your over the knee thigh high boot collection down below in the comments. And mwah. Bye everybody.